And then there were three. Which of these three amigos do you guys want to see for the next Grandmaster Adept Challenge? Let me know, please. All right. And you guys have voted for Freddy. Oh, and for those watching on my YouTube koalas, this is Freddy pre-nerf as the Grandmaster Adept was done before the uh, nerf to Freddy's kit. Okay. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. This is the first attempt uh, for Freddy, and it's already going wrong due to the fact that I've had to walk away from my PC for 30 seconds or so. So hopefully we can generate pressure again, but I mean, I'm not hopeful. Oh, and there's a DC. So now that we've had a DC, um, now that we've had a DC, this game will not be able to uh, to be played. In fact, I'm just not going to include this as the first attempt. If I'm going to be honest, we just won't include this as the first attempt because I fucked up the recording. We've had a DC before someone's even been chased, so it's impossible to actually get. Oh, Doki! Freddy time. Try and get this Grand Master Adept. So for full transparency, I'm considering this attempt number one. However, I did technically load into a game before this where I had to AFK for about 45 seconds due to some technical difficulties, which then uh, when I came back, a survivor DC'd immediately. And because they disconnected, it means I wouldn't be able to get enough emblem status to do the challenge. So I'm just considering that game like a, a null, null and void, doesn't count. We got the 4K in the end, but it's not like that really matters when a survivor DC'd at the first. Dead hard, yeah. It, whenever a survivor runs through a pallet onto such a tall loop like this, long loop like this, you just have to imagine they have dead hard. It's such a dumb decision otherwise. Oh, and there's the number DC. Cool. So I think Freddy is going to be tricky, not because it's hard, but because the survivors are going to continuously DC. Well, on to the next one. Okay. Well, attempt number two. Point five, I guess, if we want to be technical. Hopefully this time we can actually get a game in. What I think is happening is today is the day before Freddy's nerf. When this comes out on YouTube for all you YouTube koalas, Freddy's nerfed already. Um, so because tomorrow is the, the, the day before, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, everyone is playing Freddy today. Probably even playing Forever Freddy. And because of that, they are DCing whenever they get a Freddy because, well, they've just played versus Freddy for the last couple games. So, wow, you had Sprint Burst. You got hit through Sprint Burst, and then you just decided to randomly mend a heal. That's crazy. Well, fingers crossed that we can stop that gem from popping. They finished it really quickly. I don't think I saw a toolbox either. Maybe this... You don't have a toolbox. Do you have a Young Jin still here? You have the toolbox. So she has a brand new part. Please farm. That'd be great. I tried to block her, so she ran into me with her sprint burst. So this is a, a prediction, because, um, I mean, I played one game, I think, of Freddy on the, the PTB, and it's very difficult to, to grasp a killer from one game on PTB, because PTB doesn't have good matchmaking. Uh, I don't think the Freddy nerf is going to be too impactful to Freddy. Uh, if you net, if you don't run the add-ons that slow down action speed. If you run the add-ons that slow down action speed, then the Freddy nerf is huge for you. But if you just run Freddy with like, I don't know, like a a faster teleport add-on, for example, um, or no add-ons, then the little four meters per second when dropping a, a snare is definitely something that you can uh, you can deal with. It just it's a, it's a change of play style rather than being like a an impactful end game thing. There's Yun Jin. There's oh, you have a key. All right, we need to focus up now. I have a three gen over here that I'm protecting. So we need to put the survivors in that three gen because it forces them not to be able to work the gens. Okay. We know Yun Jin's on this gen here. There's both of them here. We'll uh, hit this one and then go for the white uh, Yun Jin afterwards unless you farm. Man, they just drop pallets for free. It's crazy. This is what I love about uh, people who complain about the Freddy nerf and complain about Freddy pre-nerf is that there was no world where that was a good decision from Yun Jin. If you look at the HUD, you can see that there's no decisive strike because there's no obsession in the game. If she's running borrowed time, she's fallen asleep, which means it won't activate 
obviously one of the biggest changes is that borrow time will always activate in the future which is great i like that change but the, the reason people think freddy's op is because they play like absolute potatoes just like that young jin did and run in whilst the killer is in their face and unhook whilst the killer's in their face and then go huh one wonder why wonder why they they tunneled that that wasn't very cool of them when in reality they just farm their teammate i never understand the mentality of freddy is ridiculously op when the counter there was literally just don't unhook in my face <laughs> Well, thank you for your key. I shall put it on my basement real quick. Three plus three is six. Oh, yeah, no, I've done them enough. It's perfect. It doesn't matter who I chase now. Oh, she does have life. It is. This is the same Yeon Jin from the Haddonfield Rafe game, guys. So I'm thinking this is the one. We've got past, I would say, the hard part of this game, which is the survivors giving up early and DCing. So I'm feeling pretty confident at this stage that we should be able to get the uh, the double pip. Oh, I don't know if that will hurt me in the long run. I also don't know if I should uh, hook until... Okay, the thing's unhooked. Perfect. Now I can. Are they on the hill? Healing on a hill is usually bad. Oh, hello. Because you are more likely to take a hit as the injured survivor. Nice fake out. That was actually really smart by her. Credit where credit's due, right? She has kind of just hurt herself. What are you doing? She vaulted that before I finished teleporting. Which is why I asked, why, what is she doing? Because if I just cancel my teleport, which I can do at any time. Okay, never mind. She's actually not doing anything. That was strange. Not gonna lie, that was strange. All right, we just got the uh, Yunjin Doer from uh, that Haddonfield Rafe game where we pretty much almost got the uh, the, the 4K. Oh, we, we got the 4k, but I think we got ruthless, unfortunately. So, uh, we can definitely uh, change that up this game here. I think I just hit this straight. Nice! That's two down, two to go. Feng's injured. Yunjin's full health. Uh, they just healed at the, the gen back there. Um... I don't know if I should really use my teleport like this, but I am going to. It just gives me a wider searching area because I can look down one alleyway and then teleport to the other one. So we do have to uh, slug for 4k here, which is a bit frustrating. She has life, so she'll vault and run. We've managed to deny the hatch from being a, uh, a possibility here, which is good. Now I just need to find the thing. Unfortunately, that's the most tedious part of this entire challenge is a large corn map like this. But thankfully, she fell asleep and she's visible through the corn. She's going into the corn map. All right. No worries. Well, that's game over. So this should be, uh, this should be a, a merciless, I would say. I can't imagine a world where this is not a merciless killer. If this is not a merciless, then I, I genuinely do not know what it is. Nice. There we go. It really just took enough attempts for the survivors not to DC at the start of the game. And once that happened, we got there. GG. So we have made it to the final two killers, the queens of Dead by Daylight, Nurse and Spirit. And instead of letting you guys in Twitch chat choose who we go for for the last killer, I feel like it just makes sense that we leave it to RNG. Heads, we go for Nurse. Spirit is Tails. Which one will it be? Tails. Spirit first. Rigged? What do you mean rigged? It's Google. Got Tails again? That's not how RNG works. I could get Tails again. Next one will be will be heads. Then afterwards, it's going to be another head. See? 
Told you. Wish you could tell when spirit is phasing. You can. She has an animation. Oh boy. Underground complex for our spirit game. That's going to be interesting. I wonder if the sounds are bugged on this map. They are bugged on the game map currently. Really, what this will come down to, I think mostly, is whether the survivors DC because they're against spirit early or not. If they do, then this might take quite a few attempts. But if they stick around, then we should be able to get this in one. In theory. They're on Evo with two gens. Probably lab gen. But we will uh, check this one as well. Oh, we got a solo lab gen. That is really good RNG. I don't know if I actually have enough duration to get up there. Without add-ons. No, I don't. That's crazy. I love that I get auto-aimed, but still miss. You might wonder why I walk sideways there. It's so I can look at the uh, lorry on the right side of my screen. And the gen on my left. So I'm basically trying to keep both in uh, my eyesight. Also, when you look towards generators, they're louder. Which is good for, uh, for just hearing them in general. We got a second down and they must be, uh, well, there's one back there. I think I just let the gens pop in that case, whatever it is, wherever they are. Oh, please do not give up. Oh, you are an asshole. So it's still possible for us to get a merciless if one survivor does give up. We just need to make sure that, uh, we three hook two of them and, uh, two hook the other. Also better that we chase the uh, lorry. Oh, nice. <laughs> that helps so much. If she wants to give up now, um, I think I'm okay with it because she's been too hooked. And we'll let her go. Uh, I can't... Oh, I can two hook everyone, actually. I can even two hook... Can I two hook three of them? No, I can't. I really need to hope that this Claudia gets to the rescue or this Ben gets to the rescue. No one got it. Uh... If this lorry gives up, I'm in trouble. I'm literally leaving the gen in the fastest route I can to hope that uh, Feng gets the rescue. Oh, that's so big. That is genuinely so big. To get two plus three is five. Um, Feng's one, so we're at six hooks now. That's good. Hey, Kate. I would like to un uh, to to go for Kate now. Interesting, interesting. All right, these survivors are terrible. We're letting them farm so we can get our merciless. All right, I I'm not hopeful. I'm going to be honest. I'm not hopeful that this is a merciless, but I feel like I met all the criteria, right? We got lots of hooks. I overhooked them so that we could get more chases in. Because the survivor stayed injured the majority of the game, that will be the determining factor is does our single hits on most of the survivors hurt our chaser emblem because of that? Um, if it does, then that's fine. We just go into the next one, but... It's so unfortunate that this uh, Grandmaster Adept Challenge can be so heavily dictated by whether the survivors want to play or not. Yeah, Ruthless. So I, I think uh, definitely just going to be a case of um, Chaser Emblem was too low. Yep. It was pretty close though. Yeah, really close actually. I'm amazed that I got minus one proximity to hook survivors. As if uh, I had any choice in the matter. <laughs> not much we can do about that. Into the next. <laughs> what the heck? What, hello? Deja vu. All right, a second underground complex. Hopefully this time the survivors do not give up immediately and we can get that merciless. I'm going to phase walk over to this side. Again, the lab gen is the most common gen spawn for survivors. So that's where I look most of the time early. <laughs> this is actually deja vu. That was how we got the first hit as well. Not exactly the same tile, but the same room. That was a really quick gen. 
toolboxes, I have to assume. I'm assuming she has dead hard to play so blazingly. I didn't know there was a survivor here. I was trying to go through the door and I got stuck. <laughs> nice. Well, I mean, two downs quick is good, but is it too good? Is it good enough for the survivors to DC because it's too good? I guess we'll find out. Let's get away as quickly as possible. I don't want to get minus proximity again. You're holding W, you're sitting pallet. Do go into the room there. It'd be really silly not to. Like I said, really silly not to. All right, second gen done. Not too bad. I think we're still in a good spot. I wonder if they're healing at the gen. I think I should just go for the Dwight if they are. All right, not healing at the gen. Hmm. I wonder if he did it solo or what. My gen control is pretty bad at the moment. They could definitely run away from us gen speed wise if we let them. But as it works out, they've got very little gen progress themselves, so. Ooh, interesting for her to just cut out like that. What she dealt she Why is she stand still at the hook? That's so strange. I think this is our first time hooking the sneer. Now if we just tunnel someone out, I don't think we will get hurt by devout. I don't think we'll get hurt by Chaser either. So, we can really just hard focus one survivor down now. All right, there's one. Are they inside this room yet? And then all the way around. Damn, that gen got done pretty quickly. I don't know how I'm stunned from that. I took such a fast step back. They're grouping up on the gens. Which means the gens go faster, but it actually means I have more information as to which gens I need to be worried about. She went to the pallet. Oh, she went out. Oh, she's here. Uh, never mind. That was just a, a 300 uh, spirit mind game. You just need to play spirit a little bit. You'll, you'll figure that one out later. All right. Is Dwight dead on hook? I don't think he is, is he? Oh, he actually sprinted. What a very silly thing to do. Oh, hi. I need people out. There's no DS. Maybe I just try and target someone. Off the next hook. There's no need. We can just go for the Meg now. If she didn't get healed. Because why? Oh, you're there. No way. How did... Where did she even come from? I genuinely couldn't see her. That's hilarious. I mean, fair play. He's stuck here, by the way. He can't get out of this because I'm body blocking it. So I just then come down like this. Rip Emblem. It's a mer uh, it does hurt our malicious, but I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. Meg's back there. Stairs. Okay. And closer. <laughs> Interesting. I was waiting for my power to come back the whole time. I think they're going to finish another gen before they rescue. Yeah, there it is. That's a solo gen, which is scary. That means someone else could be on a gen as well. Oh, that's very scary, actually. Uh, what gen are they on? They're not on that one there. They're not on this one here. So, I don't think they are. Now I think about it. They could have been. Which is scary. So, that's why I need to get Dwight out now. Before it's too late. Dwight's keyboard only has one key. And it's W. None of the gens have been started, so it's a full 80 seconds once we separate the two survivors if they're working together. Uh, it's more likely that they just haven't started any of the gens yet. 
and potentially are even looking for a key. We do need to try and find these survivors first and foremost, and then we have to slow a 4K. On this map, I do not like uh, closing the hatch ever. I find that the exit gates are just too strong. Really? Maybe spine shield? I mean, she probably guessed that I saw her up in there, but I turned my camera away to try and create the illusion. Whoa, crazy. I can also jump across the bridge. All right, now we need to find Meg. Oh, never mind. She's right here. And there's Hatch. Locks the uh, pallet jump. All right. So we know where Hatch is. So I don't think we're at risk of the near getting Exegate, really. And there's the one on Hatch. Okay. I doubt that we did anything wrong this game. So if this is not a Merciless on Spirit, then I don't know what will be. There it is. The double pip Spirit game. Second time lucky that the survivors actually played this one out. GG's. That just leaves one more killer, guys. Here she is. Queen Sally. The final game of the Grandmaster Adept. Potentially. I do have to 4K and I do have to get the Merciless still. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. But hey, man, look at that. Instantly, we found two survivors. Incredible. We're going to single blink so that we can manage our fatigue a little bit better. All of them are hiding behind trees. There's one here. We're going to follow the scratch marks and then... Wah! Oh, did you run from your tree as well? I didn't even see the scratch marks. That's hilarious. Survive did not have balls of steel. Confirmed. Oh, she's just going to run a straight line. Dead hard. Fair play. Fair play. Dropping a pallet versus nurse. Big play. Love it. Well played. Do you think a survivor returned? No, there's no way. Uh, I mean, there was three of them over there. It's possible someone is over here. We'll check it. I'm over here. Big. Love that. I'm going to release... And then blink again. Oh, that was really badly by me. I could have easily caught her. I could have max uh, blinked. And a max blink would have uh, got me to where I needed to be if she decided not to turn around. And if she did turn around, I could just uh, I could just blink down onto her because I had heal. That was silly. We're going to the center gen or the gen that we were at at the start of the game. Center gen. They're on both. Okay. That's actually smart. You should never stack gens if you can help it. Yunjin, Yunjin, Yunjin's left. Okay. Fair enough. I'm not going to hook basement. I think it's just too far to go every time. So we'll just hook a uh, outside basement for that reason. More concerned of someone coming from this side than the other. Nice. To run a straight line, she is dead hard. Really clean of her not to use a dead hard prematurely. Let's see how she plays this now. Oh, that was a really big blink by mistake. I tried to blink into the truck. I'm playing poorly. But we have got a court now. Oh, dude. Shit, man. I didn't even let my blink root. Oh, dude. So I use fatigue add-ons every time I play Nurse. And that's hurting me. I don't even know if she's used a dead hard yet or not. 
I guess she has if she's not using it now. We're going to lose Senegen. That was a long chase, really bad. Senegen must be being worked on. It's going to finish. Yep. I see Meg. Can I catch her? Nice. Perfect. All right. Down to two gens. It's not the end of the world. Was there a key? I fucked my three gen. That's not good. That is not good at all. No one's on that gen yet. Wow. It's unhook. Okay. There's a DS in this game, but is it Meg? The fact that she went this direction is really good for me. Oh, we were on Winzo's side. That's crazy. I misplayed that. I thought we were on the uh, pallet side. You have a key, right? No, she doesn't. I thought she did. Beautiful. I had Meg up there. Shit. What is that angle? Shit. I actually could kill this attempt. There's a second survivor here. Scratch mask behind. Watch. They're injured. Big, 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 big. Okay. It doesn't kill the attempt just yet. I don't want to go into the basement. I went into the basement. Oh, shit. That's fucking terrible. I just need to blink to Meg. Alright. Liberal war hacks. That's so big that Jake decided to run to Meg. Like, so lucky that Jake decided to, to run to Meg. <laughs> There's someone on this gen in front of us to the right. Injured. You have dead hard, right? I just slug for 4k, right? If I hook this near, I haven't hooked this near. Oh, wait, I haven't hooked Jake either. No, slugging for 4k is not possible. Maybe she gives me the hook? Yeah, she gave me the hook. I will drop if you don't. Actually, zero IQ from this Meg. Yeah. She needed to unhook. He's a moth. He's an actual moth. She's left to blind. Has Jake ran to the gen yet? What? I hit her. I hit the pallet that she was on. How could I not hit her? That was bull fucking shit, man. Oh, I'm so pissed. Like, actually pissed. I'm worried that Jake just finishes a gen and that hurts my light bringer enough to end the, uh, the, the attempt. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Um, I can definitely cut him off an exegate. There's only one exegate that he can get to before that. And that's scary. And it's this one over here. But I think I can stop it. And he didn't have a dren. Sprint burst does hurt us. He went straight for the unhook. We're just going to one blink so that he can't run past as easily. Oh. 
solid game. It's like my first nurse game, by the way, in literally ages. So I'm very happy with... You know, we made mistakes, obviously, but I'm very happy with it. This is either a ruthless or a merciless. I'm assuming Lightbringer, but maybe it's Chaser. Oh, it's Chaser. Oh my God, it's Chaser. Look at that. You can't even see the difference. Wow. Okay, Blood Lodge. I mean, we're getting lucky. Auto Haven record maps are the best for Nurse because of the line of sight. This is a large one though, but it is one of the best for line of sight. So trade off large uh, pro, you know, really good line of sight and hopefully less uh, ability for the survivor to be able to gamer us. Oh, yeah, it's Sprint Burst. That's unlucky. That's so annoying, but we'll get him on the hit here. This play is not the end of the world. That could have been, like, two less blinks. I really need to start thinking about my chases as two less blinks. I didn't, oh, yeah, she did. Okay. I literally blinked to where I thought she was going to go. And I just uh, hit a wall. If you guys didn't see it, I walked backwards so that I could hit her on my max blink. Will they heal at hook? Maybe. It's pretty close. Oh, they did. Oh, I hate heals. New hills are the worst thing about Dead by Daylight. Right. I don't know where the fourth survivor is. I haven't seen them yet. The yeah, okay. Has he walked past this or is he... He's at a hook. Oh, good. I should have been second blinked. I kind of panicked. She just got uh, tapped, I think. Or she attempted one of the two. I think holding W here was smart by Kate. Oh, dude. I misjudged the rock's size. The window's there. We fucked up our first blink, but we saw that she turned, so we uh, were able to adapt our second blink, thankfully. Hooking center is like a, a game plan, by the way. It just gives me better line of sight access to all the survivors. Oh, they did. I think Feng will lap around the uh, heal for the instant unhook because she's uh, desperate for a pip. We wrong there. One blink and then a fatigue is a really good way to just keep survivors where you want them. If you're newer to nurse, I would highly recommend that you'd be patient and one blink fatigue a lot. I have to assume that Kate will have DS, but maybe she'll go for the instant unhook on me. No, she didn't. Yes. Yeah. Into the unhook on tap. Yep. Oh, she went there. It's crazy. I didn't see it. Things just sitting on a gen right now. Definitely bad for us. I don't know how that didn't connect. I feel like I was right up here. That's things gen that we were talking about. I just need to start killing them or else I will risk the same problem I had last game. Body blocks are huge for me. This is so big. Oh, 
Tap, please, as well. Nope. Okay. Please oh, coming in now. All right, I'm gonna slug this. And we'll let Fang reset. Everyone's injured now. Someone's behind the hill. It's K and tap. Okay, tap's healed. Nice. Dude, he's turned around so many times and it's failed in it. So whenever he does it, like another time, it just surprises me. I want the borrowed time hit. I assume he has it. You just don't farm like this unless you have borrowed time. It's an extra chaser emblem. Alright, she ran in that direction. I totally messed that up. <gasps> Did I burn me? <laughs> what an idiot. He healed, which means he has no DS. Alright, two dead. I mean, this is it. I don't know which gen Feng's on, but that gen's getting pretty close, so I have to assume it's that one. through the wall. If that's not an immerseless, I don't know what is. I felt like that was a good game. I made some mistakes, but overall, I felt like I kept pressure up for the majority of the game. All right. I feel like the last game should have been immerseless as well. Like, the last game was literally the most sliverest chaser drop. So if this isn't merciless, then it's going to be tricky to get it on merce. But I, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Is it? It is. Hey, we did it, guys. We did it. We are now officially a Grand Master Dead by Daylight Killer. You all saw it here first. You were here for this. I appreciate you guys joining me on the journey. Thank you so much, everybody. In Twitch chat, all you YouTube frogs who've enjoyed this, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. If you haven't, 53% of you aren't subscribed. I've been Dowsy. We'll do some more challenges in the future. So that's what you can expect here on the channel. Love your faces. Take care. Good night.